Sports and Health. Unit 31. An ounce of prevention. Hi, Sandy. I have a question for you. Sure, Joe. I need to have a physical examination, and there is a new clinic on Elm Street. Have you heard anything about it? One of my friends went there recently. She said it was very hygienic and well run. It is great to have a new clinic close by. Since there is a shortage of doctors around here, why are you going? I've just joined a gym. I want to get more exercise and they require a medical exam before I can start. What kind of tests do they want you to have? They want to know my blood pressure, how much I weigh, and results from a blood test to check for any possible diseases. I feel terrific, so I'm not worried. I had a routine checkup last month, and the doctor discovered that my blood pressure is a little high. It's not serious, but I am glad that I found out about it. I am walking every day, and I have to cut down on my salt intake. I would rather not take medicine if I don't have to. The change in diet has really made me feel better. You know the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I think you are right. Prevention is very important. I'm going to call right now and set up an appointment. Unit 32. Herbal Medicine Everyone wants to be healthy. People see doctors. They take pills to stay healthy. However, plants have been used to heal for thousands of years. More and more people are trying herbs to stay healthy. Plants used to heal are called herbal medicine. There are many plants used in herbal medicine. Each plant is used in a certain way. Herbal medicine works more slowly than most pills. Many people think plants are gentle on the body. There are a lot of examples of helpful plants. Ginger can help your body. Eating ginger often may help you stay healthy. Another helpful plant is parsley. It can stop bad breath. Herbs may be gentler than some pills. However, this does not mean that anyone can take them in any way. You should always be careful. Some herbs can be harmful too. Too much rosemary can be very bad for your stomach. It can make you sick. Foxglove is a very pretty flower. It also has poison in it. Nevertheless, if you are afraid of using herbs, you may be surprised. You have probably already used some kind of herbal medicine. Coffee, garlic, ginseng, and peppermint are all used in herbal medicine. Herbal medicine is becoming popular again as people become more interested in their health. Unit 33. Home Remedies Everyone gets a cold now and then. Doctors cannot cure colds. Sleep and rest are good for taking care of a cold. However, in almost every culture, most families have a home remedy for colds. These remedies are passed down from parents to children. They have changed very little over time. Different cultures use different ingredients. In Mexico, cinnamon, raisins, oregano, and hot water are used to make a special tea. Honey is sometimes added. A fruit called hennepap is used as a cold remedy in Puerto Rico. The fruit is cut up. It is then soaked in water. Sugar can be added to make it sweet. Chicken soup is popular in America. A large chicken is boiled in a pot. Carrots, onions, garlic, and other vegetables are usually added. Ginger tea is used to help a cold in China. A ginger root is peeled. It is then crushed. The ginger is boiled for about 30 minutes. Some honey can be added after it is done. Each family usually has a home remedy for a cold. Some remedies work, some do not. Some taste good, others do not. No matter what, home remedies are sure to be around for a long time. Unit 34. Too much of a good thing? Hi, Jenny. Are you drinking coffee again? Hi, Sam. This is my third cup. Are you sure it's all right to drink so much? 
Don't you think all that caffeine is bad for you? No, that's a misconception. Everyone thinks coffee is bad for you, but it's not. Really? According to an article I read, coffee can be beneficial to your health. That's interesting, but you should remember that one study does not prove much. There are a lot of other studies out there, too. This doctor in Italy found a lot of benefits. Such as? She says the chemicals in coffee can be good for your heart and may relieve headaches, too. I know that some coffee can be good sometimes, but drinking too much is not beneficial. Coffee has a lot of caffeine, which is addictive. It affects your blood circulation and removes calcium from your bones. The doctor did admit that it is not for everyone and that you shouldn't drink more than three cups a day. You seem nervous when you drink a lot. And remember when you told me that you are not sleeping well? Do you think that maybe you should cut back? I appreciate your concern. I was thinking of cutting back. Would you like a cup of green tea? Unit 35. Soccer Rules Soccer is one of the most popular sports in the world. Although the main idea of the game is easy to understand, there are many rules to be followed. A player gets a yellow card for not following the rules. A yellow card is a warning. If a player keeps breaking the rules, he gets a red card. When this happens, he cannot play anymore. He is ejected from the game. Another rule is about handling. Handling is when another player touches the ball with his hands on purpose. Players cannot handle the ball. A player may not do anything that is dangerous to another player. He cannot kick an opponent's leg to get the ball. There are also some lesser known rules. A player is not allowed to impede an opponent. This means that a player cannot purposely slow down another player on the field. A penalty can be called if this occurs. There is a rule about blocking a goalkeeper too. A yellow card or an indirect kick can be given to the opponent's team if the player tries this. Yes, soccer is full of rules.